I wanted to bring this up, right? Um, this is wasn't on a list, but I forgot about this. Um, of a hockey player, Flyers, Ivan Provorov refuses to wear Pride Night jersey due to religion. The 26-year-old defenseman and head coach John Tortorelli, Tortorella addressed the decision after the game. So um, it, one of the – during the game, the Philadelphia Flyers held their annual Pride Night on Tuesday to celebrate and support LGBTQ plus community, right? And, you know, this is Instagram. Hockey is for everyone, right? And so this was the logo that they had to wear on their hockey jersey that night that they played um, the game, the hockey game. But this particular player refused to wear that pride logo because of his religion. And he was benched um, as part of the festival. Constitutional. One, so it says, so um, as part of the festival, festivities the flyers wore pride themed warm-up jerseys and a rainbow tape sticker that will be auctioned off with proceeds going towards the flyers charities aiming to grow hockey in less represented communities but one player was notably absent when the flyers took the ice for warm-ups defenseman ivan provorov who eventually made Bravo. his way what provorov provorov who eventually made his way to the bench and ended up playing a game high 22-45 in Philadelphia's 5-2 win over Einham Ducks. Reports circulated after the game that Provorov declined to wear the Pride Night jersey and warm-ups, prompting the Flyers to issue the following statement. Philadelphia Flyers organization is committed to exclusivity and is proud to support LGBTQ community. Many of our players are active in their support of local LGBT organizations, and we are proud to host our annual Pride Night again this year. The Flyers will continue to be strong advocates. So several things that I saw wrong here. Why do you have to issue a statement reiterating your support? Because one player said he does not want to wear the LGBT um, symbol or whatever because of his religion, which is his constitutional right. Why does it have to be against his religion? That was his decision. Not I know, to hear. but what what about you? Just don't like it. I can remember being in some backwoods places where the theme for the high school was they were going to wear KKK to celebrate the Klan. Now, did it have to be against somebody's religion to say, "Hell no, I'm not wearing that," or? Uh the other one that was most popular when I first got here 50 years ago was a high school wanting to have their bands wear Johnny Reb gray Kepis to celebrate the Confederacy. So does it have to be against the black kids uh, religion in the band to not wear a Confederate uh, battle hat? No. Mm -hmm. And then here's the other thing most important about this. American law prohibits you from doing something against certain groups because of the nature of the group, but it never says you have to support them. In other words, you might not be able to attack them, but you don't have to say, I support you. Right. In other words, I don't have to wear that damn thing because I just don't want to because well, I don't like what they stand for. Right. So they're saying he's being true to himself and his religion. This has to do with his belief and his religion. Damn, it's, the belief and the religion is a let more me, important point. But supposing, let me, supposing everybody in your school is a Democrat and they want you to wear blue in a Democratic logo, and you say this ain't got nothing to do with religion. I don't like Joe Biden and Kamala. Uh, no, no, no. I get all that. Listen, let me let yeah. me read this because I want to say my point. Um, this has to do with his beliefs and his religion. It's one thing I respect about um, Provorov. He's always true to himself. So he is a Russian Orthodox. 
met with the media shortly and he met with the media shortly after addressed his decision. He says, this is the hockey player. I respect everybody and respect everybody's choice. My choice is to stay true to myself and my religion. But my thing is the problem that I have is why would you prohibit him from warming up? Now that, was, that's the point. He was allowed to play, he but he should have been allowed it. to warm up. I got it. That's like this. Look, that's like the team saying, we really like what the Democratic Party is doing. Or we really like what the Republicans are doing. So to celebrate them, everybody's going to have to wear the donkey logo and have a jackass on your chest. Or you're going to have to wear the elephant logo. Maybe it's got nothing to do with belief. It's just your opinion that hell no. I don't support that party. I didn't vote for them. So do you have to put that on? And what the devil is the difference between LGBTQ and the Democratic Party or the Republican Party or uh, any of the Libertarian Party or any other one? Right. See, and it's a political party or is it a religion? What is it? And why is it being allowed to be the official? Mm -hmm. philosophical position of the team, the country, the state, or the municipality. See, so that's this, the point. And, and so this is the thing, right? So, you know, the Pride Night is, excuse me, they have it every year to raise money to push the, the sport of hockey to communities, you know, that are not prone to joining that field, right? which would be the black community because <laughs> it's all hockey is basically all white. So are you, do you have pride night? Are those proceeds going to children who identify with LGBTQAI for them to join hockey? Because no, that money... going to recruit. So wait, 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 let me finish. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. So, because you do not have, you don't have black night. You don't, you don't have, you don't have black American or well, African American Pride Night. You're making the point. That that's all part of this. Because the money is going to communities to bring more awareness to the sport of hockey. That would be the black community. In other words, but either way, if he doesn't want, if you don't want to wear the our black African American flag, or if you don't want to wear a pride flag, it doesn't matter. If you don't want to wear it, you don't want to wear it. But the but the celebration that night is that whole purpose. Yeah, well, here, that's right. All why are you forcing someone to do something the they don't want that's to the do? That's the point. It, the team should be busted for offensive discrimination. Now, whether it's religion or not, it, it, it doesn't have to be religion because, by the way, it, what is LGBTQ? To find the right. damn thing. Now, look what they did to Kaepernick when he was taking a knee before BLM got corrupted and then revealed to be a bunch of shysters who were deep off into the LGBTQ thing, raising money for LGBTQ and the Democratic Party. That's what they say. Every dollar you gave BLM went one third to Act Blue, a Democratic Party fundraising uh, entity to LGBTQIA+, which they claim was an affiliate of BLM, the organization, and the BLM so its founders could buy all of these properties and clown around and pay their relatives. Mm -hmm. So what is this? Is it a religion, a political entity, a philosophical thing, a movement? Does it stand for something? What about all of the gay folk that thinks it's a dysfunctional cult? So you've got all but of this, honestly, but yet gonna... you're going to make somebody suffer economically and discriminate against him because he doesn't support it. Right. It's and his what, right not. And what is it. that? When we've seen, when we've seen governments force people to do things and if they refuse to do it you made them suffer well I, fascism you know, what is that you know but let's put it this way the acronym represents the national socialist workers party 
And if you take the German acronym, which you should learn for the National Socialist Workers Party, which you can Google, you'll get the point. Right. It was very powerful and very much in vogue between about 1932 and about 1945 when. Right. Um, okay. So let me, I did open up, I did, I did, I did um, set up the phone lines for people to call in. So the number is across the screen. I'm not putting it in the chat. Just look at the screen if you want to call in. And before we get into the next topic, um, I want people to go to the website, right? Because the theme, the overall theme of today's show is it's time for a change, right? So this is my landing page. I created it, <laughs> but I think I did a good job. And I'm going to start, you know, doing stuff. So when you click on Judge Joe Brown banner here, it's going to take you straight to his website, his campaign website. Um, and what I want, I want people to go to the real Dana network.com and sign up to the mailing list, right? Put your email address because eventually the man up show is going to be live on that website and in, in the springtime, right? So in a lot of content, old videos that you can no longer see on this platform because I prioritized it is going to be uploaded on the website. Live shows are going to be on this website and this is going to be uncensored, uncensored, right? So I need everybody to go and sign up. Put your email address, sign up to be up to date with everything. Um. Don't judge him, Joe Brown.